standard English usage. Verb agreement. Mock ACT question 3. Me medicine. Antidote your ignorance. ACT English. Verb agreement question 3. This exercise deals with verb agreement. Unlike the actual ACT, this is not a full passage. This is a standalone sentence. In the following sentence, circle the appropriate verb form. Dave's new invention, a set of rocket-powered rollerblades that can propel you 100 yards in just three seconds, are or is both pointless and unsafe. Now for the solution. Agreement is one of the aspects of verb usage that must be correct in order for a statement to be grammatically acceptable. That is, does the verb and its subject agree in number? Our verb choices are conveniently identified for us. One of these choices has to agree with the subject. The subject is a noun or nouns that identifies who or what performs the action of the verb. Our first task is to identify the subject. To find the subject of this sentence, we ask ourselves who or what is performing the action of the indicated verb choices. That's all we care about, that the subject agrees in number with one of the main verb choices given to us. Here, the course sentence, a simple statement composed of the main verb and the subject of the main verb, is split by an interrupting clause offset by commas. The punctuation marks make interrupting phrases really easy to spot. Our next step is to literally cross out the interrupting phrase, the elaborate description between the commas that detail Dave's new invention. Interrupting phrases are not part of the core sentence, therefore they do not change the relationship of the core noun, this is the subject of the main verb, to the main verb. The main verb only has to agree in number with the core noun that the interrupting phrase is describing. Now that we've stripped away the elaborate description, it's much easier to correctly pair the subject with the proper verb form. We are now isolating the core sentence. We can ask ourselves which verb choice agrees with the singular subject, Dave's new invention. We can match Dave's new invention with the simple present verb form is and follow up by using our air to determine if our selection sounds correct. So the core sentence is Dave's new invention is both pointless and unsafe. The correct choice is is.